All right, everybody, I hope you guys are ready because it's time to get warm, all right? This is a fast, quick warm-up that I need you to guys watch me and listen up. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. I knew a friend, his name was Jack, blew his horn, lying on his back. His name was Lance, he blew his horn and get up and dance. I had a friend, his name was Joe, he blew his horn on his tippy toe. Ah. I had a friend, her name was Fran, she blew her horn, she got up and ran. I knew a girl, her name was Meg, she blew her horn balancing on one leg. My Aunt Lenore blew her horn rolling all over the floor. Rock and roll. I had a friend named Leroy Lump. When he blew his horn, he'd start to jump. I knew a girl, her name was Daisy. Blew her horn and wiggled like crazy. My friend Ben started again. A little bit faster now, ready, began. My friend Jack, lying on his back. My friend Lance, got up and danced. My friend Joe on his tippy toe. Girl named Fran, got up and ran. There was Meg on one leg. Aunt Lenore rolling on the floor. Leroy Lump started to jump. <laughs> My friend Daisy wiggled like crazy. My friend Ben started again, a little bit faster now, ready, begin. My friend Jack, lying on his back. My friend Lance, he got up and danced. My friend Joe on his tippy toe. Fran got up and ran. Little Meg still on one leg. Aunt Lenore still rolling on the floor. Leroy Lump started to jump. My friend Ben started again A little bit faster now, ready, begin My friend Jack, lying on his back There was Lance, got up and danced My friend Joe on his tippy toe Little friend, she got up and ran Oh, little Meg, still on one leg Lenore still rolling on the floor Leroy Lump continued to jump everybody I hope you guys are ready because it's time to get warm all right this is a fast quick warm-up that I need you to guys watch me and listen up are you guys ready let's do it I knew a friend his name was Jack blew his horn lying on his back A friend, his name was Lance. He blew his horn and get up and dance. I had a friend, his name was Joe. He blew his horn on his tippy toe. Ah. I had a friend, her name was Fran. She blew her horn, she got up and ran. I knew a girl, her name was Meg. She blew her horn, balancing on one leg. My Aunt Lenore blew her horn rolling all over the floor. Rock and roll. I had a friend named Leroy Lump. When he blew his horn, he'd start to jump. I knew a girl, her name was Daisy. Blew her horn and wiggled like crazy. My friend Ben started again. A little bit faster now, ready, began. My friend Jack, lying on his back. My friend Lance, got up and danced. My friend Joe on his tippy toe. Girl named Fran, got up and ran. There was Meg. 
leg on one leg. Aunt Lenore rolling on the floor. Leroy Luck started to jump. <laughs> My friend Daisy wiggled like crazy. My friend Ben started again. A little bit faster now, ready to begin. My friend Jack lying on his back. My friend Lance, he got up and danced. My friend Joe on his tippy toe. Friend got up and ran. Little Meg still on one leg. Aunt Lenore still rolling on the floor. Leroy Luck started to jump. My friend Daisy wiggled like crazy. My friend Ben started again. A little bit faster now, ready to begin. My friend Jack lying on his back. There was Lance, got up and danced. My friend Joe on his tippy toe. Little friend, she got up and ran. Oh, little Meg still on one leg. Lenore still rolling on the floor. Leroy Lump continued to jump. My friend Daisy wiggled like crazy. everyone, Teacher Jade here. The thing I am really missing from the little gym is the high beam. It was one of my favourite things to do at the gym, so I've made one for myself here. I've got some tape to make a line, but you can use whatever you've got at home. Maybe you've got some tape, maybe you've got a towel, maybe you could go outside and draw a chalk line. If you want to follow along with me now though, you could always just imagine you have a line. Some of these activities are going to be really great for your ankle stability and keeping nice and balanced and some are just going to help you practice gymnastic skills in a different way. First, th first thing we're going to do, toes on the line, we are just going to do some rises. This will be harder the longer you do it. Ooh. Maybe you could just do this while you're washing your hands, while you're cleaning your teeth, whatever you like. As many of those as you can do, give your legs a bit of a shake after. Right, follow me, let's get to our beat. First one, we're just gonna do some tippy toe walks. See how high my heels are. Not sagging down here, right up the top. Okay, let's try some kicks. Forward kicks. Doesn't need to be too high, just as high as you can go. Maybe you could even try some backwards ones. Whoa. You see my leg is not as high here. This is quite difficult. Do you hear that noise on the floor? That means my foot is really pointing as I go. Let's add some jumps. So, why don't we try small jumps first? See how I'm keeping my arms above my head? I'm not letting myself get all lazy. Let's see if we can do big, long jumps. I reckon I could get across this beam in two. One, two. See, I'm keeping my feet really close together because I'm imagining that they're on the beam. Whew. I actually know quite a few cool jumps that we could try while we're on this beam. So, I'm going to the side. I'm going to put my legs into this position. Some people call this a W jump or a wolf jump. Here we go. Oh. Make sure you try all these jumps on both legs. Oh. Oh, that was a very good one. Let's try again. Oh. Another jump we could do is a bit like a, like a split jump. So we're going to open our legs really fast into a split like this. Oh. That is one landing with your feet together. Oh, this is hard work, these jumps. Sorry, getting a bit out of breath here. We can also try a bit of a sizone jump, so we're going to land on one leg. Ooh. Imagine how hard that would be if we were actually on a beam. Right, let's move on from jumps and go on to some leaps. Loads of different sorts of leaps we can do on the beam. First one is simply we step, leap with the other leg and split, if we can. Beep. And if we're having a bit of trouble getting going, we can swing this leg. One, two, three. 
make sure you try this on both legs. I was trying to be cheeky there and just do my favorite leg. One, two, three. I'm trying really hard to land in that nice arabesque position. Might not always happen. Right, Ooh. another sort of leap. I love these leaps, cat leaps. This one, we're gonna get both our knees up really high. Cat leap, cat leap. I'll show you again. Cat leap. Imagine how hard these would be on the beam. This is a scissor leap, so it's kind of similar to the cat leap, but we're gonna have straight legs as high as they can go. Try both legs. I'm not gonna enjoy this one. <laughs> Don't like going that way so much. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of leaps. Let's think about things that are gonna help with our handstands. So we can do normal handstands on the beam, of course. Lunge, make sure everything's in a straight line. Handstand, and back down again. This activity will really help with that. So we're gonna go kick, kick, kick. These are called needle kicks and are also really helping get all these legs nice and flexible. Kick. Oh, I felt a stretch there. I like that one. A couple more things you can try while you've got your beam out. Of course, you could try your cartwheels. So we can try our cartwheel all the way across it. You know what those are, so just show that one very quickly. You could try your forward rolls. Trying to make sure everything stays in a nice straight line. Something we do on the beam quite a lot is a candlestick. So we could even really try and keep everything <laughs> in much of a straight line as possible in our candlestick. And finally, why don't we try teach Emma's crazy shoulder roll? Because this line will help us practice in keeping in a straight line. Here we go. Woo. Wow. Give these a go at home, make your line and see how you get on.